So this vlog, I'm just going to give you a pre-warning, is a little all over the place. I want to show some footage from last weekend's Cars for Critters. I had thought I didn't have much, but I did film a little bit more than I remembered at Mike's house in the morning. You probably saw in his video, there was a ton of us gathered there. I kind of want to just insert some of that footage. Um, don't have much of the show, but thank you to all of you guys who came out. It's a phenomenal show, um, and it really means a lot, especially because it's two animals. So um, I'm going to inject that footage now. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It's a little bit crappy outside right now, but... That's okay, we're heading to a charity car show, Cars for Critters, Hershey, Pennsylvania. You've heard Mike talk about it a ton of times in his vlogs. We'll be there. Uh, hopefully the weather holds out. It's supposed to have severe thunderstorms this afternoon, but uh, if we can get there at all, just make a quick appearance um, to support the homeless animals, um, that'd be great. But I think we should definitely do a cold start first. wet drive but uh, 20 bucks says Mike's not up yet I mean there's like four or five people coming here and nothing quiet as can be which is nice but I'm just gonna stand here for like five minutes and then I'll go get the pots and pans and start making a bunch of noise or maybe when Mark and Turner and everybody get here we'll just line them up and just rev the crap out of them <laughs> Uh, Mike is not a morning person, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> it's like, it's ridiculous. Really good on it. Oh, the coming down the back road is all I just, every time you let off the gas, you just hear. Yeah, that's sweet. I'm like, well then, I yeah. said my neighbors weren't going to be happy and that cold start this morning was just really... It was a lot less. I'm like, oh, it's you know 8:30 on a Saturday. Somebody's finally awake. What are you doing? You what just the woke up. What's going on here? Did you hear the little rev we gave you? Yeah, I heard the little rev. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Good morning. Morning. Victor, Bobby. Jerk. Mike's got his McLaren Philly jacket. Turner's got his McLaren Philly jacket. This douchebag has his McLaren Philly jacket. So good turnout. We were selling plenty of posters. Mark's still here. I don't know where Turner went. Uh, people are starting to kind of disappear. The weather a little uh, questionable, but uh, still definitely good turnout. Um, it's getting a little humid, so the thunderstorm's coming. Um, I think they're doing the judging here in like 20 minutes, but um, always a good, good show again. Uh, Mike and I don't do anything to support animals. Next year, we'll always keep you posted on the show. Mike and I always make it a point to be at this show. Uh, sorry I didn't have a chance to really walk around and film a lot of cars. Um, I was talking to people, talking with you guys who came out, and really just kind of uh, catching up with some people. So I always like to spend the time with the people at the show. Um, I know it's tough to, to balance vlogging and, and, and talking with people there, but um, that's why you just guys got to come out to the shows. Back at Mike's house, we got the lineup. We're going to go grab some food. Again, that was an awesome show. Again, the weather, I, I have no idea what's going on here in Pennsylvania at all. Uh, I can't complain. The weather's holding out now. It's still slated to hail and severe thunderstorms with a tornado warning, I believe, tonight. Yet it's sunny as can be. So we're going to uh, gonna finish up the car shenanigans for the day, grab some food. Bulldog, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? So, I don't know how much I'm going to film at Chipotle, but um, I don't think you guys really need to see that. So hopefully that was a little bit of footage there for you, um, some sounds of the car with the exhaust and everything. Uh, for those of you who are asking in Mike's video about the knocking, it's not an engine knock. Uh, there's some heat shielding or something rattling, um, some sort of exhaust leak going on back there, so sole performance is 
squaring that up. They pretty sure they have a hold on it. Uh, we just got to schedule some time to have them come down and, and just button it up. Um, shouldn't be a big issue. It's probably from just the exhaust um, heating up and expanding. So um, that's not a big deal. Nothing to worry about there, guys. That being said, we are heading off to Carlisle. I donated my car this weekend to um, Miele uh, for MS um, Society. So the car is going to be at this, on display at the Carlisle Imports and Performance Show here um, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Um, Carlisle Vents. They do all like the Corvettes of Carlisle, Ford Nationals, Chevy, Na you know, all that stuff. So we're going to head down there. The rain has finally stopped here. It's been raining for like five days straight. Um, so hopefully the car's not too dirty. Get it parked in there. I let them have the car for display to kind of bring people in um, and raise awareness. So the car will be there all weekend. So let's get to it. Give you guys a little sneak peek of the show. If you guys are coming to the show, you'll see kind of a lineup. Yours truly. I'm not sure what's coming in here, but got a Ferrari, got a Spider. I uh, obviously love this car for certain reasons. That interior. And look at that. There you go. RS7, love this color. You've seen Ryan's Ventador, Panamera Turbo, I believe, or a Panamera Turbo S. Uh, the new one looks really, really nice for a four-door. Um, Ed Ross's R8. This thing's pretty sweet. Now, it's a Land Cruiser with a BMW V12. Why don't you check that out? Let me get to the front here. I'll show you the, the front. Yeah, look at that. Look how low this thing is. I mean, my knee is right here, and it's about an inch. <laughs> that gives you an idea. But uh, it's a pretty sweet-looking little toy. You got Frank's Porsche, drop of ink tattoo, always a clean ride. He's got a nice roll cage in there. I uh, got the center all painted up white, some nice touches to match. Very clean car. GT3 RS, lava orange. I love this car. If I were to get one, it'd be in white. This would be the car that I would get to replace the 12C if I wasn't sticking with McLaren. I just love these things. They have such a phenomenal road presence to them and you don't really see that until you see one in person um, so if you haven't seen one in person and you think it looks ugly or you don't like the wing or anything like that definitely go look at one in person my favorite feature though right here the vents but uh it's a nice color too definitely a really nice color in person so there's kind of the lineup i will be here this weekend saturday Sunday, most likely at some point. Um, I don't know when, so I apologize if you come out and you can't find me or I'm not here. Um, I'll probably be hanging out over at the Adams Polishes tent like I normally do. But um, yeah, come out if you can. Hope it'll be a nice weekend for you guys if you are coming out to the show. You guys probably know where I'm going. We're at the Adams booth. I need to pick up some stuff as always, making my spring field trip to Adams Polishes to just replenish my arsenal. If you guys are looking for awesome detailing products and you're a beginner, kind of not really sure where to start, well, um, here. Come check all this out. to my shopping spree. So we got our box of stuff here. If you guys are in any Carlisle event, 
Adam's is always here. And uh, I'm like a kid in the candy store here. Right. Camera died. So that is the first time that my camera battery has died on me out in the field. So uh, I apologize for the vlog kind of abruptly ending like that. I was kind of trying to do a time lapse of, you know, just kind of doing a time lapse. And um, yeah, the battery died. I checked it and it was like one of the Best Buy batteries, not the Canon batteries. Uh, the thing lasts me like a year uh, and I didn't have a spare battery on me. So um, I apologize for the lack of rest of the show coverage, uh, but you know I just wanted to throw this together um, as much as I could and then salvage it as I obviously am back home for the day um, and don't have any more footage. Um, I thought about maybe filming on my iPhone, but I, I didn't want to go from good quality to okay quality um, in terms of audio. So I apologize for that. Um, again, guys, if you're looking for some detailing stuff, um, I'm always at Adams there. Every Carlisle event, I'm always hanging out with the Adams guys. If you're on a budget and you're looking for something that uh, will get the job done and won't break the bank, um, definitely go check out Adams, um, adamspolishes.com, at adamspolishes on Instagram. If you buy a product and you're not happy with it, they'll help you out, they'll take care of it. But um, if you have any questions, give them a call. Their customer service, they'll walk you through everything. Um, Dave, if you're watching, I always have a good time hanging out with you there at the booth. I, I just wanted to throw this vlog together um, and, and put some of that Cars for Critters footage from last weekend in, as well as some of the footage, obviously, that got cut short um, of the Carlisle Imports and Performance Show. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor, follow me on Instagram, at Troy Sowers. Click that like button, click the red subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.